All right, guys, are you thinking about becoming an Instacart shopper? If you are, check out this tutorial. I'm going to pretty much walk through the entire app, everything you need to know, so that you will completely understand how things need to look when you want to start doing Instacart. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out this video. All right, guys. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just kind of walk through the Instacart app from when you are already logged in and just kind of explain how everything works in here. So starting out, you've got your dashboard, which is kind of like your home screen. Um, from here, what you would do up here in the top right, you've got your inbox. So your messages. And then you go over here, you've got your dashboard, current orders. So if I had any orders that I had accepted, they would be here. Then you've got demo orders. So if there are any type of, you can do like fake orders in here just to kind of practice. Um, which I think is kind of cool that they offer that. Um, and then coming down, you also have your inbox here again. Then you've got your how am I doing? So what this does is it shows you your ratings. So for instance, I've only I've I've done probably about 150 maybe close to 200 orders or batches as Instacart calls them. I've got 53 ratings. So you come into your ratings, it looks like I have 53 five star ratings. And no other bad ratings except at one point I had a three-star rating that was a multi-store order that was removed. Now, I don't really know why or what specifically happened with that order. Uh, but sometimes Instacart, depending on maybe how many items it was or what the reason behind the bad rating would be, Instacart will a lot of times remove that if they view it as... Whatever happened wasn't necessarily the shopper, their fault. So then coming in here, you've also got your communication. So this is if the customer specifically stated um, after the order that you had great communication with them. You've got replacing items. So if you had an item that was maybe unavailable, you picked a good replacement for that item. Then you've got finding items. So this is, you know, let's say um, you found all the items they wanted or let's say you couldn't find a particular item. So then you were maybe talking to the customer and you're like, hey, I'm going to go talk to the manager. I'm going to go talk to this department supervisor and see if maybe they have some in the back. Um, that just kind of shows that you're going above and beyond to find the items that the customer wants and they definitely they definitely appreciate that. And then going, we've got quality of items. Um, and this is just making sure you're picking good quality. So if you're getting fruits and vegetables, they're not fruits that have bruises on them or you know they have mushy spots or, or anything like that. And that's very critical. Um, coming down, you've also got some lessons in here you can go through. Um, then you've got comments. So if they left any comments for you. Um, in here it's at the top it says updated 1010. That's because I have not done any Instacart orders since October 10th. Uh, coming down, you've got your cancellation rate. So this is if you accepted an order and then for whatever reason after accepting it you canceled it. So Instacart, their threshold is 15%. If your cancellation rate goes over 15%, they can and will deactivate you. Um, mine is at 9%. Um, normally it's lower, but the last few orders I did, there was just some, I accepted them, not really paying attention. They were like major Costco orders and Costco was slammed with a huge line around the building. I canceled those and got kind of dinged for it. 
Um, and then you've also got your seconds per item. So that's how long it took you to find each item in the store, going from one item to the next item. Um, and then just down here, it explains how your ratings work, what it means, what it could mean to your batches, and then cancellations. And then it's got a note at the bottom for new shoppers. So you cannot be deactivated until after you do 30 batches with Instacart. So just keep that in mind. They give you a little bit of time to learn. Um, in here, you've got the best time to shop, and this is based on your zone. So my zone is the Sacramento, California area. And they show you the average amount of orders for each day. Now, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are whited out because we've already gone through those days this week. But for the remainder of Wednesday... And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it shows you um, kind of when the peak times are for orders. So as you can see, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday have the highest amount. Sunday has the overall highest amount in my particular area. So I know if I want a good chance of getting a good order, I can correlate myself with these times and that'll give me a good chance. Then you can also update your zone in here as well. Now there's only so many zones available depending on where you live. So for me, these are the options I have. Uh, moving into, um, you can go into your earnings. Up here at the top, it shows you the batch payment from Instacart. That's the amount Instacart pays you. Under that, you see tips. You see final tips and pending tips. Final tips are tips that have already gone past the 24-hour threshold for the customer to adjust, which are tips you're for sure getting. Pending tips are those tips under the 24-hour threshold since you delivered that the customer may or may not modify. Um, and then moving down, you can see some of my old orders. Now, some of the stuff to keep in mind. Some of these numbers may not be huge, but when you look at them, like this one, September 7th to the 13th, I did a total of 14 hours. So if we do the math here on a calculator and we say I made 373.91, if I divide that by 14 hours, that's an average of $26.70 per hour. So that's pretty good. Um, coming up here, let's do this one, August 17th to the 23rd. Um, so this one I made 479.44. If I divide that by, I'm going to do it by 19 hours. It's $25.23 per hour. Um, so this is kind of nice to have because you can go back and look and see kind of on average how much you're earning. Uh, if you come over here into promotions... There's no current promotions in my area. This could be things like if they're slammed for orders and they need drivers, they, sometimes there'll be a little flame that you'll be able to see on a batch. Um, also, that could be if they're trying to recruit new drivers in the area. Um, you've got your payment methods. I'm not going to click on that one because that's got my info in here. You can also go to reimbursements. So this could be if you were shopping... And let's say your Instacart card was not working. And let's say if you have it on your, your Apple Wallet or your um, Google Pay, let's say none of those options are working. You could use your own personal debit or credit card to pay for the order. And then you submit a reimbursement request. And you take good pictures and you show them... This was the time so they can see the correlation and you explain what happened. You tried using this method, it didn't work. That method, it didn't work. And you can get it through pretty quickly. Now when they look at these, it takes them typically a couple days to get to them. But what they will do is after that reimbursement goes through, and I'll show you an example here. You go back into your earnings. Let's look at this one. Um, you'll see right here, Instacart payment. Got the batch payment, peak boost, then reimbursements. So they will actually take that reimbursement amount and they will put it into your Instacart account and then that will get paid out to you 
when your next um, payout is due. And then past shift hours, I don't even know why that's in there. Um, they've got something in here for the COVID vaccine. So you can actually, um, as long as you meet the requirements listed here, you've done five batches within the last 30 days. If you get the COVID vaccine, they will give you a $25 stipend. Um, kind of, I guess you could say as an incentive for getting the vaccine. Um, then you come down into settings. You can choose different maps available. So for me, the only ones available are Apple Maps. You can go into custom greetings and you can set a specific greeting that you can utilize when you talk to your customers. Um, and then also within here, sometimes I have issues with the app where the batches don't load properly. You can come in here down at the bottom where it says wipe batch state and you can actually reset your batch state. And that a lot of times will help. Um, and that that's honestly pretty much it, guys. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm also going to do a video where I go in detail um, as you're shopping after you have accepted a batch and you are actually shopping for a customer, what that process looks like. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. I will probably be doing that this weekend. Um, I'm working on a couple different videos. I've got a DoorDash with me video I'm doing. I've got an Uber Eats with me video that I'm doing. And then also the Instacart one that I'm going to be doing. So stay tuned for those. And uh, if you guys like this content, please, as always, hit the like button. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, subscribe to my channel. And then after you subscribe, just drop a comment. Um, on whatever particular video you were watching that led you to subscribe, just letting me know you subscribed um, and I'll respond to you guys. And then also turn on notifications so you guys know when I post another video. Um, so with that, guys, as always, thank you for checking out this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.